Hi there. My name is Rachel Karasik. I'm a librarian at the Australian National University with a specific focus on supporting the academic disciplines of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, as well as health and medicine. Today we'll have a look at the library's online resources that can help you with your coursework and your research. We'll also have a look at finding your textbooks online. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you'll need to do if you're connecting to library resources from off campus is to log in to authenticate in order to gain access to any library resources. So when you click on an ebook, for example, or you try to open an e-journal, you'll likely see a window um, to log in via the single sign-on with your U number and password. Um, if you're already logged into Waddle or another ANU online system, you may not be prompted to log in because you're already all set. Um, if you have any trouble with your username and password, you can contact the ANU IT service desk and they can help you reset your password um, and just troubleshoot any login issues you may be encountering. So before we even get started, I'll show you how to get in touch with ITS. So I'm going to share my screen with you, just one sec. Okay, here we go. Now you can see what I'm seeing. So this is the ANU homepage. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but just if you need any, any help getting set up with your password, you would come up to services. And then under this bar here, we have information technology. And then if you hit the help and support link, it'll give you some information about how to um, access some help. Um, you can log a job online through ITS's service desk portal, um, or you can give them a call for help in that way. So the next thing I'm going to do, once we figured out how to log in and we're all set with that, I'll go to the library homepage. So the ANU library does have five physical branches on campus, but we also have so much for you online. In fact, most of our most current and our more highly used resources are available to you as eBooks, online journals. Um, we have databases and other digital research tools. So today we'll have a look at how to find some of those online resources to help you study uh, and jumpstart your research. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the catalog search. So from the ANU library homepage, there's a lot of information and we have a couple of different search boxes up here. So we'll talk about super search a little bit later, um, but let's say I'm looking for a specific book, um, a specific ebook at the ANU library. I would come to the catalog search. If I were looking for a specific um, journal title, that's another place that I would also come to take a look. It's looking for those things, those works that ANU library owns and has access to online. Um, so if I were looking for my a textbook, I could look for Campbell Biology, for example. I'll type that into the catalog search. And so this is showing me 65 results. Uh, this particular textbook uh, is widely used and it's been used for a while by the ANU. So you see that we have a lot of results here. We have 65. Um, so you can have a look at when the different versions were published. You can see down here that we have a couple that we uh, have in our reserve room at Hancock Library in print. That's probably not gonna be quite as useful to me as um, this one here. So this one we can see is printed material. But if I wanted to access the ebook, you can see here in the medium that this one should be available as an internet resource. So that's a quick way to get a sense of what format um, the material that you're looking at is in. So if I click on this, this title, I can see a little bit more about the edition. Um, I can scroll down and get a sense of the table of contents. Uh, and if I find that this isn't actually the one that I meant, I can go back to the catalog record and have a look for the one that I'm actually after. Like, let's say I maybe wanted the 2018 edition instead of the 2019. I could come back and find that one, click on it. Um, and then with any of our eBooks, you just hit the view online button. And then I have access to the eBook here. So you have a bunch of different options and different publishers have slightly different, um, different approaches to their eBooks. So there can be different ways to engage with them. So almost all of them will have this read online option. Um, most of them will also have an option to download an ebook. So this is the, essentially the equivalent of checking out a physical book. So you have it for a certain period of time, um, and then it eventually will get returned to the library using a specific software program. Um, it is really easy just, if you just want to get into the book really quickly, just hit this read online button. So I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab. 
and then over here I have the table of contents for the, the ebook so I can actually just go to a specific area that I'm looking for like let's say uh, I'm I'm ready to look at a tour of the cell I can go right to that section of the ebook um, and just read it online in this way so if you know you need to access it from offline for a bit you can also download it so that's another option and then you can see there are also specific options to download um, one chapter at a time over here. So that's another option for this particular ebook. There are usually restrictions on um, how many chapters or pages you can download at a time, so that information is usually here as well. So I'll go back to the ANU Library homepage. So that's one way to find an ebook if you're after a textbook for one of your classes online. Um, another way that you can come in and find course readings, I'll go back to the library homepage. And under the catalog search, there's this option that says advanced catalog search. So if I click on that, it's going to give me a couple of different options. If I know that I'm looking for a specific title or author, that's an option for me here. Um, there's also this option that says course reserve, this tab right here. So when I click on that, I can search um, by lecture name, or if I'm looking for a course name, I can also go ahead and type in a course name to find the course readings. So let's say I'm looking for Medi 1001 in this example. I'm a medical school student. Um, I put in that specific course number and it's going to show me my readings here. Um, so keep in mind a lot of these will be ebooks or online readings um, and you can come in and find things by the course name or lecture code or lecture name. All right so the next thing we'll take a look at on the ANU Library homepage is our subject guides. So subject guides are a really great way to get started with your research to just see what the different resources are um, in a certain discipline or subject area. So from the ANU Library homepage, there's a number of different ways to find it. One of the fastest ways is just to come down to this library information box. And two of the areas where I would find subject guides are the how-to guides, which are going to be more walkthroughs and tutorials on software and um, different research techniques. The subject guides are a little bit more focused on specific disciplines and library resources for those, um, those subject areas. So you can see that we have them divided up by types of guide. We have arts and social sciences, Asia and Pacific, um, biology, environmental, physical, and mathematical sciences. So a lot of the science ones will be here. Engineering and computer science, health and medicine, and law. So library staff from all of the ANU libraries put these guides together. And again, they're curated collections of the resources for your subject. So I'll go ahead and click on this one. You can see we have a variety of different guides here. If I were focused on environmental sciences, I could click on the environmental science tab. And these are sorted all very similarly. They have a similar, um, similar list of options. So you can see over here, uh, there, there really are options that are sorted almost like the resource research process itself. So at the top we have reference sources. So again, that's going to be um, your foundational materials where you might look up definitions, uh, research keywords and synonyms before you even get started with your, with your research or a project that you're doing. So these are some examples of, um, of resources. We also have a listing of dictionaries encyclopedias, handbooks, and guides. There's information about books and ebooks in your topic area. So we usually have some featured books, um, some information about ebook collections where you might actually go directly to find ebooks. You could also, again, use the catalog and subject searches or topic searches. But this is one way to find collections of ebooks as well. There's um, a section on databases, so different databases that are going to be the most useful for certain subject areas appear here. Journals and magazines has some information about how to find um, e-journals in your subject areas, and then also a listing of some of the highest impact journals in your field. Then we have news, uh, how to find theses, some writing and referencing information, um, and always contact information as well. So just keep in mind that these guides are, are here for you. We have them in a whole range of different areas, um, so you can come to them for any of the classes that you're taking, including the sciences. All right, so the next thing we'll take a look at, I mentioned that we'd have a look at SuperSearch later. 
Um, so Super Search is a great place to start your research. Um, it really does go all the way down to the article title level. So whereas the catalog search is going to take you down to book titles and journal titles, um, the names of DVDs and other kinds of media, uh, it's not going to take you all the way down to specific research articles. Whereas Super Search is going to take you all the way down to journal article titles. So it's a little bit more broad and it's really looking through um, all of ANU Libraries resources in a very granular way. So let's say I wanted to broadly look up information about hydroelectrics, or I know there's another way to spell this. Looking for resources on hydroelectric power. I can plug in my terms. And you can see we have a lot of results. So we have over 600,000 results sorted by relevance um, coming up here. And if I wanted to get a little bit more of a sense of what's in that article, I could click on the preview and it would give me some information, usually a summary, um, some information about where this information was published and you can get a sense of what kind of material it might be as well. There are a wide variety of limiters ways to kind of refine your search over here on the left hand side. So let's say I was asked by a professor to only include peer reviewed um, research in my paper. I can select this option and that should take out resources that maybe were newspaper articles or published in popular magazines, things that haven't been reviewed by a peer of scientists, a group of peer scientists in the same field before publication. So you can see that my results have narrowed significantly so I went from over 600,000 to 47,000 results. You can see that again up here at the top. Um, if I only wanted to look at resources that I could get right now that were available full text online, I could click this button as well, and that's going to filter it to resources that I should just be able to access immediately because ANU Library has um, subscriptions to the journals that they're published in, or they're available openly uh, on the web through open access publishing. So down below, we also have content types. So this can be really useful if you're just looking for, say, journal articles. Um, there's usually also uh, ebooks, data sets, lots of different format types over here. So we can see what all of those are. Um, but let's say I just wanted to look for journal articles. That will narrow my search results a little bit more. And last but not least, I can, there's a lot of other options here, but I can narrow by date. So if I'm looking for the most recent material published on this topic, I can hit the last 12 months. So now you can see uh, that my search results are, are much more narrowed down. I have 2,900 results. It's still a lot of results. I probably won't have time to read all of them for the paper I'm working on. So then I might actually go back to my search and add in a few other terms. Like let's say I was looking at um, hydroelectric pumping stations or something like that. I could go in and add an and and another group of terms to narrow down um, the search results. So if I actually have gone through the search and seen a couple of different um, results that look useful for the paper that I'm working on, I can Click on this full text online link. So let's say this is one that looks like it would be useful for the project I'm working on. If I select full text online, what's going to happen is it's going to take me to the article um, at the publisher site. So now I can actually go ahead and read this article online if I want to, but most of these sites usually also have something that says download PDF or PDF. And if I click on that, it's going to give me a nice PDF that I can download and save on my computer in my research folder or print it um, how, however I want to work with that article in the future. So that was Super Search, very briefly. I'll just go back to the ANU Library website. So that's just some quick information about how to access ebooks, how to access um, journal articles and other kinds of resources for your um, work at the ANU. You can always get in touch with us if you have questions, if you can't find something, if you need help with a citation that you have, tracking it down, um, feel free to get in contact with us. Under About, 
up here. And then if you hit contacts and feedback, there's a bit of information uh, up here. So if you just have a general library question, how do I find something? How does that thing in Super Search work again? Feel free to just shoot us an email here. Um, there's also information on all of the subject specialists within the library down below. Um, so you can also reach out to us directly if you have a question that's really discipline specific. So my information is down here. All right, so thanks for joining me for this brief overview of how to access library resources. Hopefully you will be able to um, use lots of our eBooks and electronic collections online to support your learning at ANU this semester.